artist, but I'm also a designer and a cultural anthropologist. My project here at Arts Industry is based on a bunch of work I did at the Smithsonian for my doctoral dissertation. I'm making ceramic skulls and ceramic birds. I've been making insects and all sorts of botany specimens. I have a crocodile skull. It was a little bit too big for my own 3D printer, so I brought it here hoping to cast directly from it. The crocodile presented an entirely different scale of challenge. I took it over to the, the 3D scanning and printing place in the factory at the pottery, and the pottery 3D scanner folks took a look at it and were like, well, this is very different than a toilet. This, this might be kind of interesting for us. They offered to scan it and 3D print it for me, and I'm going to then use the 3D print to cast from. So learning how to cast a skull has been a really interesting challenge and delight here at the Arts Industry Program. The work itself has been much, much harder than I actually expected, but also much more rewarding, and things have actually come together better than I thought they would. It's exceeded expectations. A lot of that is due to the support network that's here to help you make things. At many other artist residencies where I've been, I think I've been to about half a dozen at this point, you're basically shown to an amazing location, given a big white room, and good luck can make your art. Whereas here, it's much more engaged. You have a support staff, you have an amazing context to work in. This is in the thick of things, and you see how skilled all of these workers are around you, and you're like, well, I'm never gonna get quite that good with the clay, but I can try. So Sherry, who's the pottery tech here for Arts Industry, has been incredibly helpful and useful. It's been great. Almost any place I go in the factory, somebody is willing to stop what they're doing and help my work be better. And in return, they get to have us weird artists around. <laughs>